morning everybody we got uh lauren with us today doing a little towing video we're actually in the new truck truck has not been on the channel yet uh we traded the 17 in the uh f-250 with the 6.2 great truck never honestly had any issues out of it until we uh got hit by a guy he stopped in the middle of the highway so i come up behind him stop behind him and he backed up wasn't paying attention slammed into the front of the pickup truck no shit <laughs> <laughs> All over some cows. <laughs> no, he was looking for deer. Oh, looking for deer. But, uh, truck ended up going back and forth to Ford. Something wasn't, something wasn't right. And they ended up, uh, going back and forth with Ford four, three or four different times before mm -hmm. finally just opted to trade it in. Traded it in, got a 2019. We'll do a little feature of that later in the video, probably. <laughs> We've had a bunch of changes on the page, actually, since we, uh, haven't uploaded in a while. We got a new truck, the 19 F350, and we have a 02 Ram 3500 six speed on the page that we need to do some videos with as well. But uh, another update to the page that's been around since before the page is Lauren. She just hasn't been featured on very many videos. None, actually. <laughs> She hasn't been featured on any video. <laughs> so we're going to try to make some more content on the page. Uh, towing related. And of course diesel related. Because Lauren is now a diesel ambassador. Yeah, go follow her Instagram page. We'll put a link in the comments. If you need some diesel back here. Put another link in the comments too. Right on. We're hauling the 07. The, uh, gooseneck today taking it over just to get it out of the way truck pulls are great 331 gears we got the low set of gears in it uh, I didn't really figure it mattered that much and honestly towing it's towed the fifth wheel it's towed this I've towed a few other trailers with it that were pretty heavy and uh, even with the 331s the thing pulls anything you want it to I'm sure the 355 guys the 410 guys you know, it could pick up speed a little bit faster, obviously, but anymore, it's tomato, tomato, whatever truck you buy, whatever gears you get, they make so much damn power. It's not like the early 90s, mid 90s, the old 6.5s and the 7.3s and the 12 out 5.9s rock solid motors, but you know, they just didn't make the power that these new trucks make. So, uh, Overall, really happy with it, and uh, the truck's doing a great job. We're averaging 8.8 .8 miles a gallon, um, which just is two lane. We uh, took the back way. We didn't run the highway. We'd probably get up maybe around 10, a little over 10 if we would have been running the highway with it, but uh, just decided to go two lane, take some country roads, get some good pictures, and just enjoy the day off. And the truck is averaging... debut the truck that we traded in tin can for which those that don't know I called tin can a 2017 F250 with the 6.2 in it we now have a 2019 F350 with the 6.7 in it the whole purpose to go into the 350 and the 6.7 was towing capacity there is a pretty good difference between them for sure the old truck always did a good job pulling anything you wanted it to but you definitely notice this one power difference so we bought this one completely stock uh, since we bought it we put a set of 295 nitto ridge grapplers on it with GFX 20s it's got the factory ball 
pitch combination so unfortunately I couldn't do the B&W like I usually would this actually just came this way we bought the truck the only other mod that it's got on it is a ranch hand front bumper right now we do have a PMF reverse leveling kit for the truck because these new aluminum super duty sit so damn high in the ass in I got an inch and a half shorter block and some Bilstein shocks to throw on it. Other than that, it's been a great truck. I thoroughly enjoy it. I know Lauren really likes the truck. It's got all the power you need. Lauren did a crappy wash job. I'm joking. I love you.